Hey everybody, welcome to build number 23. We are building muscle today, the best thing to build, um, by working through eccentric, um, an eccentric day. So we're gonna do eccentric moves, meaning that we're gonna slow down on your eccentric portion of the move. So your concentric part of your move is where your muscles contract, and the eccentric is where they elongate and open back up. So basically, we're going to be moving slower um, in the lengthening part of the muscle. So we are going to get a little bit of a warm up. I've got a set of 35s, 25s, and 15s for us for today. And we're going to be working on a timer, 15 or 45 seconds of work and 15 seconds of transition. Um, all right, let's take a little bit of a wider base of support. Set your hips back, reach your arms forward. Get a stretch through the hamstrings, your back, grab into the core, and then sit your hips all the way down, elbows inside your knees, plant your hands, push back up. If you're not able to touch the ground, then just bring a weight forward and bring the ground up to you. So sink down, open those knees, and press up. <clears throat> sink down and press up. All right, go ahead and come all the way up to standing. Let's do some marches, get some twists in there. So take your opposite knee to elbow, pull the knee up, twist across. Remember we want our low back stable, upper back, all moves is one, and the mid back is where we get our rotation and range of motion from. Three, two, and one. All right, all the moves that we're doing today, we've done before, pretty straightforward. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get started, and we're gonna start with a runner sit up. So as I said, use lower back or elongate the muscle in the slower motion. So for our runner sit up, Elbows are gonna squeeze tight as you lower down. That's where we're gonna take our time. Come up nice and fast, that's our contraction. Lower down, slow, slow, slow. All right, here we go, ready, set, and go. So lower, slow, push your low back into the ground. Come up nice and quick, lower, slow, slow, slow. So you actually build more muscle on your return to start. When you have a spotter or somebody who can kind of help you, it's a really fun and effective way to build muscle quickly. They can help you, your spotter can help you lift your weight and then you can lower all by yourself because we can lower a heavier selection than we can lift. Kind of makes sense. Whew. Build that burn. Not a ton of reps, but it should add up. All right, we're gonna stay on the ground and we're gonna move into a chest press. So I'm gonna use my 25 pounds for that. <clears throat> All right, up into your glute bridge and you're gonna press, press quick and then lower slow. So you're resisting gravity. I like to go about three, two, one. And you can really slow your eccentric loading day. Some people do 30 seconds, 60 seconds for our kind of amount of time and use. I wanna just stay slower than normal. That's about all I'm going for. Elbows open wide, wrists out over those elbows, slow, 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 contract. Keep that core strong. You're resisting gravity, time, as the muscles lengthen. All right, we're gonna go into squats. I'm gonna grab my 35 and use it for goblet squat. So we're gonna slow down, lengthening those hamstrings, press up, slow, 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 drive. Grip in through those heels, feel, the feet screwing into the ground, drag in through those glutes, lifted chest, 
strong core. <sighs> Hang in. <sighs> Lock in deep through that belly. <sighs> Knees line with toes. <sighs> you got it. And time. <sighs> All right. Grabbing our 25. We're going to do an overhead tricep extension. If you need, you can hit kickback. So remember, our lengthening is slow. Contracting is fast. Slow, slow, slow. <sighs> You're lengthening the muscle, the triceps, between shoulders and elbows. We're going to squeeze elbows in. Next day is relaxed. Three, two, one. Feel that muscle build. Slow, slow, slow. Big contractions through those triceps, and we're there. All right, I'm going to go back to my 35s. We're going to hit dead lifts. All right, so our lengthening is on the way down. So pop it up, grab to those glutes, hit that slow way down. Feel those hamstrings lengthen. Really take your brain to the muscles you're wanting to build. So hamstrings and glutes. Oh, really contract that core. Your range is up to you. So just a barely soft bend in your knee. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. And depending on how tight you are in the hamstrings, you won't get as far as I am down. That's fine. Just to your shin. To your kneecap is fine. <sighs> Open that chest. All right. Done with deadlifts. Moving on to curls. I'm going to go 15s. So our slow is going to be back to the ground. Contract. Slow. 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 <sighs> Elbows squeeze tight. I'm going to switch to hammer. My elbows will be happier. Chest stays up. Roll those shoulder heads back. Keep your shoulder blades squeezed together so that chest is up. Just your forearms are moving. Keep your chest up. Those arms go back down. That full open elbow ah Whew. all right time dead rows all right i'm gonna go i'm gonna go back to my 35s give this round a shot so hinge it forward pull and lower slow 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 boy Whew. feel that back lock through the core you're pulling your weights right back to your hip crease. Again, keep your body still. Just pinch between the shoulder blades. Lower slow. Focus that back. Feel the muscles build. Eight seconds. Whew. All right, runner sit-ups, we're one set in. Grab deep into that core, scoop the belly, lower slow, and crunch. Three, two, one, pack your low back into the ground, two, one, crunch. Round through that upper back. <sighs> 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 
Keeping your core flex the whole time. So our tendency, especially with crunches, is to relax as you go back to the ground. So this is good training. Remind us to stay flexed and to help us understand, realize, and recognize how much more difficult it is when you stay flexed back to the ground. All right, try or er, chest press. <clears throat> Slow to the bottom. <clears throat> you should feel that the pecs super heat up. Flex deep as those elbows open wide. Ah, I love a good weightlifting day. <sighs> Jumpy stuff is fun, but building muscle, <sighs> you can really see the progression and strength, your ability, <sighs> the mental connection. There's our time. Mental connection <clears throat> to the muscle. So really getting to the muscle that we want to work. Squats are next. Slow down. Sit back on those heels. Charge. Check the core. Check the back. Watch your pelvis as you're lowering slow. Gives you the time to make sure you're keeping that neutral pelvis. So your tailbone's not tucking under, nor is it yanking up. Yes. This round. Set it in a little more heated. Find your flexions. Root in through those heels. Lock that belly. All right, triceps. Let's see if I can stick to my 25 here. All right, slow down, press up, squeeze those elbows in. Ah. When you slow down, you can really connect. Should be getting the shakes. Ah. Can really take the time to feel those triceps lengthen, <clears throat> contract, <sighs> lengthen, ah, contract. <sighs> All right, deadlift. <clears throat> okay, we're lengthened on the down. Slide those shoulder blades together. Drive up. Two, three, one, two, three. Flex into those thighs. Really feel like you're screwing those feet into the ground. So your pinky toes are pulling to the side, away from one another, and then the heels screw into the ground toward one another. Lots of belly. Hold support for that low back. You got it. Just a soft bend. We're there. Whew. All right. Curls. Ugh. <clears throat> Get my forearms. Okay. Up quick. Down slow. Not really quick, just normal. Elbows squeeze in. Focus those biceps. See how posture's doing. Chest up. Squeeze shoulder blades. Focus those biceps. 
Squeeze your elbows in. Roll your shoulders back. Feel that bracing through the back. Time. Okay, we're gonna hit up those dead rows. I'm gonna try my 35s again. <clears throat> Why not? All right, here we go. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Really slow. How much pinch can you get between those shoulder blades? Focus the back. Keep it out of your neck. You got it. Come on. Time. Oh, my forearms. Okay. Whew. Last round. I'm crushing this. Going fast. Runner sit ups. Four, three, two, and go. Tight, 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 tight. How much flexion can you build? Flex it in. See if you can get each vertebra into the ground one at a time roll that back down oh, my abs are on fire oh, time okay chest press you're gonna go up into that glute bridge here we go Open those elbows wide. Feel the bracing through the back. Chest gets the work. Push your weights right up over the chest. Make sure they're not creeping back toward your neck. Press three, two, one. Press three. Two, one, but make sure you're not jerking your lower, right? We're not pausing at each count. Just take it slow. Time. And if your pace is a little faster or slower than mine, it's okay. I'd rather be slower than faster. <clears throat> All right, that last set. Really felt those squats. <sighs> that was supposed to be slow. Fast. Now we go slow. Here's our lengthening. There it is. Check in that core. Wrap underneath that rib cage. Knees line with toes. Find those glutes. <sighs> Lengthening. <sighs> Time. <Whew. sighs> <clears throat> All right, triceps. <sighs> Lengthen, contract. Stay relaxed through your neck and shoulders. Squeeze the elbows toward one another. Ah, 
Come on, fight, fight. Time. All right. Let's see. Deadlifts. All right, here we go. Lengthen and contract. Hamstrings, glutes, focus. Can you keep that upper back flat? Can you keep that pelvis neutral? Come to your stack without pushing your hips forward, past your midline, past that set point. Really change it up if you can really screw ah, and root those heels into the ground. All right, curls. Shoulders back and down. We're getting there. Get that build. Find your extra little level of umph. It's a technical term, umph. That's it, build the muscle. Muscle's so good for health, longevity, bones. Slow, 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 keep that slow. All right, my forearms were screaming last time, so I'm gonna hit 25s from my dead rows. I'm sure I'll still feel it. <laughs> Here we go. This is it. Finish strong. Squeeze. Really focus that flexion. This is a great way to train the body to flex on that return. You know I talk about it a lot. Feel that pinch between the shoulder blades. Feel that back build. Time. All right, all right. All right, so we have a little bit of time left over. Good job. So we're going to go back through. <clears throat> Just a couple finisher bonus sets, hitting some glute bridges and full sit-ups. So just like with our runner sit-ups, we are going to still hit our eccentric move. Same with our glute bridges. So I'm going to count us out though for it. Done with the timer. Push that low back into the ground. I like to set my arms right up over my head or goalpost arms. Feels really good on the chest right now. So that's how I'm going. Okay. So our contraction, hit first. I'm gonna have us hold a split second at the top. Squeeze the knees, find your glutes, dig into the heels. Now slowly lower, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Can you keep your contraction? Two, one, drive up, 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, you have to train the heat. You have to train your intensity. Three, two, one more. Drive, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Oh, my glutes and my hamstrings. Two and one. Perfect. All right. Draw those legs into the chest, grabbing behind your knees. Push your low back into the ground. Straighten those legs. All right. We're gonna hit a full sit up. 
We're actually going to start from seated. So rock your way up. Dig your heels into the ground. We're going to take 10 seconds to drop and then come right back up. So scoop through the belly. If you get to the point of no return, you're not going to be able to get back up. Then just hold it there, okay? Scoop. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. What are we here for? Belly, core, 3, 2, 1. Do not throw your arms. Crunch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. If it's too easy, bring your heels closer. Ah! 5, 4, 3. Two, one. Oh, don't throw the arms. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Crunch. One more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Crunch. <sighs> All right. Open those knees. Take your butterfly stretch. Perfect job. Turn your fingertips away from you. Total different type of intensity. Just muscle build. Definitely heated up. Things got difficult, but my rate of just exhaustion, heart rate exhaustion, definitely not there. So good to have different types of trainings, different types of sessions each day. Stay planted into your left hand and take your right hand and just twist outside the left leg. Push your chest up nice and tall. Drive that right shoulder down away from your right ear and then switch to the other side. Plant into the right hand. Push your left hand on the knee. Get that twist. All right, back in front. Go back uh, with your hands around your toes. And I want you to pull your hips back this time. So you're going to straighten through the arms, round through the back. Feel that stretch through your upper back, the shoulders. Perfect. Okay, and then let's try to get our chest. Got a lot of chest. Both hands behind, fingertips press away. And then plant onto your feet and do a reverse tabletop. So open that chest. Round or push your hips up. Bring your heels closer to, or your hips closer to your heels to sit down. Turn your fingertips the other way. So they're pointing your hips. Open the chest, you can stay here or go back up into that reverse tabletop. Roll those shoulders back. The goal is to get that chest open, stretch through the shoulders, feel my forearms. All right, drop those hips. Okay, switch it around. Bring your right leg forward. Tuck that back hip under, left arm comes up. Get your tricep stretch. I am anticipating my triceps to be sore. Keep your tricep stretch. Switch into your hamstring stretch. Half split. Ugh. And then we'll get that pigeon. Cross your foot over. Flex that foot. Lower down. Hips face the ground. Feels so good. All right, curl that back toe under. Push into the hands. Switch it up. Left foot comes forward. Tuck the back hip under. Tricep stretch. Oof. takes time to 
build muscle, consistency. I hope that you've been able to stay disciplined and consistent, committed, making it to your mat. And even when you're traveling or find yourself without weights, you can do body weight. You can pretend that you have heavier weight. Sometimes just mentally, mentally telling your body that you have heavier weight will force more muscle contraction. Your body has the capacity to recruit muscle. All right, cross it over. Even <clears throat> if you're not under the load that you maybe really want. And then if you have access to heavier weights, just give one or two reps a shot. You might be surprised. Sometimes getting under heavier load changes where you push from, where you pull from digs into those deeper muscle groups, which is super, super duper healthy. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna come into a wide base of support standing. Take your feet so they're pretty, pretty wide outside your hips. Hinge forward, grab your hands behind the back, interlace your fingertips, and let those arms drop over the back of your head. Make little adjustments. Roll those shoulders down. Feel that stretch and pull. Grab to the core. Easy, come up. All right, fantastic job. We made it through another day. I will see you tomorrow for day 24. Have a good one.